Okay, <laughs> welcome back. We've had a lovely time we sipping have. our mojitos. The happy, happy drinks. drinks. Happy drinks, baby. Awesome. And apparently they're making us happier. Ha much so. happier. Mm. <laughs> Every sip Ooh. is a happy sip. Mm. So what I've got here is some amberjack, which is a kind of a cool local fish. And I'm going to trim it off a little bit. Now, now, when you say local, where are we? Oh, oh yeah. yes. This doesn't matter. Everybody what? knows where we are. They're watching us on 38 television. They are. <laughs> ah, but yes, some people might be visiting. I forgot which show we were doing for a minute That's there. That's true. Some people <laughs> might be visiting and wonder what the not heck they're doing. Not everything. Everyone's from the south. Yeah. So what, what that is. is. I'm just going to trim these off. A little bit. Well, and you know, if you get a good fishmonger, then they'll, they'll trim them for you, which is actually, this these is are pretty true. clean pieces. Uh, we wow. went to Goat Feathers for these. We'll mm -hmm. give them a little shout out there. That's right. The, right. the young man who's in that store always takes very good care of me. And here's a hint for all you out there who don't know any better. Take care of your fishmongers. Slip them a $5 bill once in a while. You get the freshest fish they work every hard. time. You get the freshest shrimp every time. Yesterday, to, to prove my point, he took a couple pieces of the shrimp off of the top mm -hmm. and said, you don't want those. And he dug around for the best ones. Well, so. goat, goat feathers is good that way anyways, because, you know, nobody wants bad right. fish. <laughs> and, and uh, there's, you know, there's other ones around, and uh -huh. they're, they're just as good. But, um, but you know, these the, are our locals. That's correct. So uh -huh. we take care of our locals. Absolutely. So what are you going to do with this now? Well, getting back to the fish, dears. So what I've done is so actually the tried, tried, <laughs> and tried, the I've tried to cut them into similar sized pieces so they'll cook evenly, which is a good idea to do. Except for this one. Look. It seems a little big, yeah. And keep your fingers wrapped under. What about that? Sharp knife. It's thin, dear. See? All right. Okay. We still got to fit in a taco shell. So now the next thing you do is to make sure you season it. Don't be afraid of the salt. A little pepper. Looks more than it is. Now I'm going to dust it lightly with some cumin. You can always put it into your hand first, so that way you know how much is going to go on the item. Yeah. Just to check how much not is coming out. Not everybody has a little shake at top, do they? Sometimes well, exactly. they come crawling out and they have to right. make a mistake. And then you got call. cumin fish. That's <laughs> what you get. Because cumin is so strong, isn't it? It's, it's, it's a little, yes. Go easy on the cumin. It's just to give it a little kind of a... It's a, it's, a little, it's a little tropical flair. What, yeah, right. We like, you know, because they down in the south. In the, yeah. in the Bahamas, they that's, use it yeah. in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the Bahamas, that's very, what I meant. It's yeah. a very international spice. And we're making spice. tacos after all, so now, that's right. Are you going to flour those in there, or are you going to yeah. just throw them in the bowl? And well, I was, about, I was about to explain the flour first. Okay, <laughs> explain the what flour. What we've got here is just some flour with a little bit of seasoning in here. We've got a little salt and pepper in there. <laughs> so what we're going to do what? Yes, it does. People don't know what it is. Not always. You can bake bread with it. Oh, really? Flour? Yes. And you can cut them it's up and put them in a bowl. It does all kinds of flour. It's, it's not the kind of right. flour you put in a ball. <laughs> okay, now, all we're going to do is, this is called bronzing, actually, it's for, instead of being blackened. Did you just so learn just, that? No. Of course not. I'm a chef, dear. I've known it for ages and ages. But if you'll notice, I'm only putting a little See, dust on me, here. She calls herself a chef, but I just call myself a cook. But that's okay, because bronze is such a, it's a very fashion-forward color this year. You know, you mean, it's I heard new, that. I heard that. Hat, so you're good, there. You're always picking on Julia. That's because Julia needs picking on. Okay. So as you can see, we've got a nice light dusting right there. Nothing fancy, we're not trying to coat it too much. We're just giving it a little bit of color. Okay, and oh, now, now... it just looks what? And now we're just <laughs> gonna throw it on the grill, aren't we, dears? No. No? We're gonna throw it in a pan and we're gonna pan, sear it pan. in a pan. That's Remember, this is your it. recipe, Julia. So we can have... <laughs> while she's doing that... No, let's do that again. Okay. <laughs> so now that we've lightly colored our fish, we're going to throw it in a hot, pan and uh what do you call it saute sear it sear, sear it, it. Yeah. 